O Lord, open our lips, and our mouths shall sing your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. The Lord be with you, and also with you. Let us pray. O Lord, have mercy upon us. Christ, have mercy upon us. Lord, have mercy upon us. Our Father in heaven, Holy is your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Do not allow us to fall into temptation, but deliver us from all evil. Amen. O Lord, have mercy upon us, and grant us your salvation. O Lord, save your people, and mercifully hear us when we call upon you. Endue your ministers with righteousness, and make your chosen people joyful. O Lord, save your people and bless your inheritance. Give peace in our time, O Lord, because there is none other that fights for us but only you, O God. O God, make clean our hearts within us. Do not take the Holy Spirit from us. The Book of Genesis, Chapter 24 now Rebekah had a brother named Laban. He came out quickly to the man at the water spring. When he had seen the nose ring and the ornaments on his sister's hands, when she gave him word of what the man had said to her, then he went out to the man who was waiting with the camels by the water spring. He said to him, Come in, you on whom is the blessing of the Lord. Why do you wait outside? I have made the house ready for you and a place for the camels. Then the man came into the house. Laban took the cords off the camels and gave them dry grass and food. Then he gave to him and the men who were with him water for washing their feet. 
meat was put before him. But he said, I will not take food until I have made my business clear to you. So they said, do so. He said, I am Abraham's servant. The Lord has given my master every blessing and he has become great. He has given him flocks and herds, silver and gold, men servants and women servants, camels and asses. When Sarah, my master's wife, was old, she gave birth to a son, to whom he has given all he has. My master made me take an oath, saying, Do not take a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites, amongst whom I am living, but go to my father's house, to my relations, for a wife for my son. I said to my master, But what if the woman will not come to me? He said, The Lord, whom I have ever kept before me, will send his angel with you, and will make it possible for you to obtain a wife for my son from my relations and my father's house. You will be free from your oath to me when you come to my people, and if they will not give her to you, you will also be free from your oath. So I came today to the water spring, saying, O Lord, the God of my master Abraham, if it is your purpose to give a good outcome to my journey, let it come about that while I wait here by the water spring, if a girl comes to get water and I say to him, Give me a little water from your vessel, and she says, Take a drink and I will get water for your camels. Let her be the woman marked out by the Lord for my master's son. Even while I was saying this to myself, Rebecca came out with her vessel on her arm, and she went down to the spring to get water. I said to her, Give me a drink. And straight away she took down her vessel from her arm and said, Drink, and I will get water for your camels. Questioning her, I said, Whose daughter are you? And she said, The daughter of Bethuel, the son of Nahor, and Milcah, his wife. I put the ring on her nose and the ornaments on her hands. And with my bent head, I gave worship and praise to the Lord, the God of my master Abraham, by whom I had been guided in the right way to get the daughter of my master's brother for his son. Now, say if you will do what is good and right for my master or not, in order that it may be clear to me what I have to do. Then both Laban and Bethuel said in answer, This is the Lord's doing. It is not for us to say yes or no to. For see, here is Rebekah. Take her and go. Let her be your master's son's wife, as the Lord has said. At these words Abraham's servant went down on his face, praising the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
The Acts of the Apostles, Chapter 9 It came about that while Peter was going through the parts of the country, he came to the saints who were living at Lydda. Well, there was a man there named Aeneas, who for eight years had been in bed without the power of moving. Peter said to him, Aeneas, Jesus Christ makes you well. Get up and make your bed. Straight away he got up. All those living in Lydda and Sharon saw him, and were turned to the Lord. There was at Joppa a disciple named Tabitha, that is, Dorcas. This woman was given to good works and acts of mercy, and it came about in those days that she became ill and was close to death. When she had been washed, they put her in a room which was high up. Because Lydda was not far from Joppa, the disciples, having knowledge that Peter was there, sent two men to him, requesting him to come to them straight away. When he had come, they took him into the room. All the widows were there weeping, putting before him the coats and clothing which Dorcas had made while she was with them. Peter made them all go outside and went down on his knees in prayer. Turning to the body, he said, Tabitha, get up. Opening her eyes, she saw Peter and arose. He took her hand and lifted her up, and sending for the saints and widows, he gave, them to th gave her to them living. News of it went throughout Joppa, and a number of people had faith in the Lord. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Collect for Peace O God, from whom all holy desires, all good counsels and all just works proceed, give to your servants that peace which the world cannot give, that our hearts may be set to obey your commandments, and also that by you we being defended from the fear of our enemies may pass our time in rest and quietness through the merits of Jesus Christ our Saviour. Amen. The Collect for Aid Against All Perils Lighten our darkness, we beg you, O Lord, and by your great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of your only Son, our Saviour Jesus Christ. Amen. We pray for the work of your faithful servants around the world, Lord. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, of the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all, tonight and for evermore. Amen. <laughs>